enough to draw a Montana tag. Which is split brow eight. It's been in here every day. Maybe it'll start feeding this way soon. Well, unfortunately, this is something we're kind of dealing with here at the Milk River is suspected EHD. I'm sure that's definitely what it is. I guess a little bit harder to get nowadays. Just left uh, our elk hunt in Montana, in southeast Montana. So drove up here, and Tyler's he's going back to Alabama for the Talladega race this weekend. So we're gonna hunt for a few days and kind of see what everything's looking like. And if we get on some decent deer, Tyler will come back, and hopefully we'll get a couple down. But it, it just never ceases to amaze me how awesome this place is. We've already seen some decent bucks right out here where Tyler killed that eight pointer two or three years ago. There's a few decent bucks out there, but they're, they are kind of hanging in the shade. It's what, almost 80 degrees today? watching a there's a big bodied eight point out there i don't know he's seems like he's almost a mile out there but i'm thinking it's the one that we saw come off the river down to the west yesterday so most of the deer are still out feeding just going to kind of sit and watch watch where they go into bed for the day and that'll give us a better idea of a game plan for tonight so most of the most of the deer are still way way out and they should start kind of filtering back into the river to bed that's the game plan at least. Still haven't seen everything that we saw last night, but it's still early. It's nice weather. It's about 36 degrees this morning. Posturing up. You got him? Yeah. You see him? He's right, almost right in front of the hay bales, looking back. Right on yep. the edge of the ditch. <laughs> Just up, he's in, the, in that shadow. See him running across? Yep. Feeding. Son of the gun does. I think we got a pretty decent game plan. We watched that eight go in. So we're gonna head down and make an onyx game plan, kind of look at it on the map before we get over there. That deer's probably only bedding within a couple hundred yards of those tree stand or the trees down there. And uh so I just want to kind of get a lay of the land and then the wind's gonna switch. It's out of the south today, so it'll be hitting me just like this. And it's gonna switch to the northwest, so we'll have to look at all our options. But I'm excited, man. This is, it's awesome to be here. It's uh, just a dream hunt of mine. I can't, I can't believe I'm getting an opportunity to be able to hunt out here, but I'm thankful and I definitely don't take it for granted. So we're gonna enjoy every minute of it. Try to get us a deer down. So, 
this is where that buck came out of this morning. He came out of these trees and crossed right here. And I know he crossed on the southeast side of this green tree. So there should be a, it kind of drops off. You can see the deer drop off right here. And so with the, with the south wind blowing this way, we should be in the money for this afternoon if we can get hung in one of these trees. It's kind of a little pinch point. It's actually, the sagebrush is more open back here. And the, these thicker sagebrush and these trees and the, and the creek kind of comes in and kind of creates a little pinch point right here. So if we can find a heavy trail, I think we, we hang close enough to it, we should be in the money. a little bit of work to get it up in there but I feel good about it it's like the perfect little perch we're kind of out in the open but we got really good cover I had to trim a lot to be able to cut some shooting lanes but I like it a lot there's two trails that just kind of come right here to about 35 yards and just split and come on each side of you and so I know that's where this bug came in this morning let's get out here go shoot a few hairs and get ready Well, we got the old Hoyt redialed in. Actually, I, I swapped back home to some 400 spine arrows. Went to my boy Michael Pitts and was kind of having some tuning issues and uh, he wanted to go down in spine. So that's what we did. We went down to a 400 spine Easton axis, put 50 grains of brass in the insert in the front of it. So shooting bullets. So we're fired up and ready to get after it. We think we got a good plan. I feel good about it. You know, we got in there, got that stand hung real quiet. We got a perfect wind. So all we got to do is have the deer cooperate and hopefully use the trail within 20 or 30, maybe 40 yards. And we should be in the chip. We're in here. I feel great about this spot. We, we all kind of in this long tree right here. Winds it's supposed to be out of the south, but it's actually got a little bit more west in it, which is even better for us. Wind's perfect right here in our face. The creek makes a big turn right here in front of us. So there's a bunch of bedding area right out in front of us where there's some deer bedding. The thing that I kind of like about it is there's not a ton of deer back here. But that's okay because we know that that shooter that we saw this morning came back in here to bed. So... From the best that I could tell, he entered right here between us and the creek, which is, is it should be, he should be in bow range if he does the same thing, but I'm, I'm confident we'll see him. So, either way, I'm just super thankful. It's just a blessing to be able to hunt out here. This is a special place with a lot of history. seven or eight deer come through here. Everything's past us to the north. Every single deer is taking the same trail. But we sprayed down with nose jammer and they worked through without even stopping. So that's a good thing. Still way 
waiting on our big boy to come through here. I feel confident that he's back there unless for some reason we boogered him up when we came in here and hung the stand, but I don't think we did. We'll see, we got about 30 more minutes left maybe. Slow morning, extremely, extremely slow. We probably saw, I don't know, a third of the deer that we've been seeing yesterday morning and the first evening. So I don't know, it's pretty chilly. It's a little bit warmer than it was yesterday morning. It's about 45, 46 degrees. Didn't really see anything. We saw just that one split brow eight down here. But other than that, it's been as slow as I've ever seen it. So we're gonna we're gonna pick up and move to a different spot just for the late morning. See if we can pick anything up over there at the rock, and uh, <clears throat> see if we can find something that's looking really slim. I'm 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 thinking the worst could possibly be happening. I'm hoping it's not, but we've definitely seen a few dead deer in the river, five or six dead deer in the river, and I'm hoping that EHD is not really kicking in real bad but we're not giving up hope but it's not looking good so far uh, we got 80 degree temperatures coming the next couple days no real no real freeze in sight so we'll, uh, we'll we'll stay confident and see what happens over the next couple days right down here this doe standing somewhere back in the right here slim very slim that's our second sit back in the same spot we were last night and it was slow 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 probably the slowest I've ever seen it glassing this morning we just didn't see a whole lot of deer at all and really only one mature buck one mature buck back to the east. So we uh, didn't really have much to go on, so we just decided to get back in this tree stand that we hung. The wind's even better for it today than it was yesterday. One positive is, is we went to a different glassing spot, late morning spot called The Rock, and uh, watched uh, three bucks, two decent ones and one, one pretty good one. Uh, right out here in front of us and they were heading this way. They were actually on the neighbor's property this morning, but they were walking this way. So that's one positive. Uh, we, we definitely are dealing with a little bit of EHD, but we're gonna stay focused. We're gonna stay positive, keep, keep grinding. Hopefully we'll be able to get a mature buck in bow range. We'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. Shot, it'll be 
Got a pretty nice looking buck out there. I don't know which deer it is, I can't tell yet, but way out there. So I know we can put a tree stand over there because we've killed a deer in there before. decent morning still not seeing a ton of mature bucks but we did see the split brow deer he's kind of hanging right here in the same little field that he's always hanging in and then a little bit later in the morning i spotted a pretty nice nine point way way off and i watched him feed for a little bit and he actually worked into the same general area where the split brow bedded and so we he walked behind some cottonwood trees and lost him so he should bed in there so i think we, we're definitely going to have to move into that area this evening we got a decent wind uh, you know we've we've killed a deer in there before so we kind of know the area and how the deer move in and out but hopefully with those deer kind of being bedded in the same general area we'll get a get a crack at one this evening so it's gonna be hot today it's gonna be in the 80s which is not good for out here but it's the conditions we got to deal with so we're gonna sit and watch a little bit longer and see if we can spot another deer and then go down and look at the onyx map get some breakfast and get to hanging tree stands for this evening all right this is a pretty good looking tree that we can hang in right here we know these deer like to feed right here so when the sun goes down to the west there'll be a ton of shade and on a hot day like this I bet you there'll be a bunch of deer piled in here. The deer that were after exited the field right here at about 150 yards. So he's pr he could very well be better within a couple hundred yards. So it's always better to come in here with a the truck. These these deer are used to farm vehicles, tractors in and out. So I'd much rather come in here and if we do have to run any deer off, push them off with the truck rather than on foot. should be pretty good. I like it up there a lot. You can see a good part of the field. This deer exited at about 175 yards. We should be able to see him come into the field. Got a perfect wind in our face. It's uh, two o'clock now, so we'll go back, get a shower, get a little bite to eat, and get in the stand at about 4.30. We should be in the money. I love it. Man, that's definitely the biggest body deer I've ever shot. So we're just going to hang in here and see what we can do. Split brow eight's been in here every day. We'll see if we can get a crack at him this afternoon. If it doesn't work this afternoon, we can. Slip in here in the morning, we think, without busting too many deer. So we'll see how the night unfolds. I'm thankful to be here.
split brow. Split brow. Split brow's right here. like we should have moved our tree stand down a little ways, but maybe it'll start feeding this way soon. after and we might be going crazy we might be going crazy but we're gonna throw old Bucky the enticer at him this thing's huge I don't know if there's any stakes Bucky the enticer Bucky the enticer See if he works. Put him in the old heavy Chevy. He should ride. Unfortunately, this is something we're kind of dealing with here at the Milk River is suspected EHD. I'm sure that's definitely what it is. There's several deer that we're finding dead along the creeks and the rivers. And this is just a, I can see it's got at least four on one side. It's been dead for a while, but not a good thing. It's definitely taking some deer out, but you just hope that we get some cold temperatures in here maybe a frost or two to kind of kind of kill this thing and get them through the winter but hate to see it for sure
That could easily be the deer that we were hunting the first day. He just completely went missing from from what we can tell. I mean, he was probably, I don't know, dang close to a mile away looking out through the spot and scope, so you can't tell exactly, but first day we were just hunting right over this creek bend, and so, don't know, could have been him. Hate to see him go out like that.